let's uh, let's call the meeting to order. The um, the first item on the agenda is the uh, the minutes for November the 18th. Has everybody seen the minutes for the 18th? Yes, I have. Okay, I'll make a motion that uh, we accept those minutes as amended. You had a couple of amendments to those. I did. Just okay. a couple of typos. Got it. So well done, well, John. Thank you very much. Yep. I'll make a motion that we accept those minutes as amended. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item on the agenda is uh, we have three warrants. We have a payroll warrant for $88,148, the payroll deduction warrant for $24,034, and the vendor warrant for $100,604. Make a motion that we um, accept those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, we're waiting for the planning board to get here, so I'm going to skip over the first item on the agenda, and we'll go to the second item, which is um, Ron Sweet. You want to give us a report on the temporary repairs on the North Poland Road Bridge? Uh, yes. <clears throat> okay. Everything's looking good. I we hired an engineer. They did the, what we need to do for temporary fix. They we ordered the materials. I picked them up today. So by the end of the week, the repairs will be done, and Mass DOT will be notified. And I actually talked to Mass DOT on Friday, and it sounds like as soon as they're done, that everything's going to be. Good. Okay, so we don't we don't have to worry about that not being closed. Not being closed. Okay. For the I mean, there is. He said there is just one slight <coughs> thing that Boston does have final say, but he didn't think that that was going to be an issue. Okay, so okay. You, you think we're in good shape on? I think we're in good okay. shape. Okay, great. Good. Thank you, Ron. In case anyone uh, was wondering, I did get the letter in that Mass DOT required. Uh, they had a deadline on that, and that went out last week. Uh, with our progress and updates, so they know about that. It should be acceptable to them based on uh, Ron's communications with Region One. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you, Tom. Okay, planning board has arrived. All right, <laughs> so we're back to the first item on the agenda: uh, the meeting of uh, the Thank finance you, committee of the planning okay. board. Hmm? Yeah, I'm glad you're okay. Uh, regarding the special yeah. town meeting uh, warrant. My okay. Okay. And we now have a quorum of finance committee here, so we can, we're we're at order, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought we were going to do it, Jane. Yeah, we, we, we are. No. Okay, so um, Finance Committee has some recommendations on the four articles on, or the proposed articles for the warrant uh, for the special town meeting. Uh, yes, we had. Um and the re there's a reason why we would like to have these two articles in the special town meeting rather than waiting until till May. And I understand the uh, views of the Finance Committee about it. However, I'd like just to present our case for recommending it be included this fall. Uh, there are two issues for... Uh, which, which two warrants are we talking about? Two, two articles. The... Here. Six the old six and seven. Oh. Oh. The old six and seven. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yes. The article six and seven, which were originally recommended, um, these are requests for two <coughs> feasibility studies. One uh, for a uh, this is not the go no. It's supposed to. It's supposed to be for the safety complex. The town garage has already gone through. I'm not. So, the two we had wanted, 
was a feasibility study for a safety complex to see if, in fact, the location where the fire department now already is can be used. There had been a, 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 some opinions voiced in the past that it was not possible to uh, adequately situate the safety complex up there because of issues regarding the uh, <coughs> retaining wall near the river, its closeness to river, and issues regarding the septic and, and water. However, uh, at a meeting last year of many people, uh, an open meeting, uh, it was decided that before we look at the Rose property or any other property, uh, we'd, we'd decide definitively whether there could be a, the, the site be used for the safety complex because that would be um, an optimum solution in the opinion of many. So, and the reason why we would like that on this fall is because the thinking is by some that the, if we cannot use the current site, uh, then the Rose property might, might be an alternative. There's views against that also, but however, it is in play. And um, the reason why, again, why we want it now is because currently the, uh, uh, the housing committee has been moving <coughs> forward with a feasibility study of their own that they have in hand to develop senior housing. Now, they're not going to be coming to the town for money on that, except in terms of the uh, money from the tax rolls, uh, tax revenue, uh, they're, they're funding it from other sources. So they have, this has a real um, possibility of actually happening. However, they do know, because we, we have not recommended that, that them to use that site, uh, because hinging on <coughs> what happens with the, with the safety complex, um, many think that it's the ideal use for it, but nonetheless, there's this, 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 this uh, uh, the issue of the safety complex and people who would like to see it on the Rose property if, uh, if, if, if it cannot be where it is. So we'd like to uh, remove that as a, a hindrance from the, the housing committee to be able for them to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, because they have already had the land perked of those and they're, they're uh, Peter <coughs> Wells, I think, out of Westfield. Uh, anyways, the, uh, they have said they can site. They're, they're in the middle now of drawing up a, 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 um, a footprint for where um, uh, four or six units might go. So this, has, this, this whole project has real legs at this point. And we'd all hate to see it just go dead in the water because we have to wait another <coughs> eight months to get a feasibility study for uh, the safety complex. Um, all right, so basically you're just looking for funding for so a feasibility exactly. to either um, count it in or count it out in terms exactly. of a safety exactly. complex. Exactly. But you're not looking to do anything. Not at all. Immediately no, no. with that. No, no. You just, just want to rule it in or rule it out. We just want to rule okay. it in or rule it out. Okay. And the other one as well. It's not really tied to the uh, the the Rose property, but the other feasibility study we had wanted to do was for a uh, the water and septic for the down village downtown. Uh, when we had we had recently had a meeting on the proposed uh, zoning uh, amendments and changes, including a um, creating a more flexible opportunity for business growth in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. And the main complaint that came up from everybody, and there were a good number of people there, was that you know what are you talking about? We don't have we don't have water and then sewer. How well how are you ever going to get business? To, and they're right, and they're absolutely right. So we, from that, uh, for that reason, we had wanted to, to make, be able to move forward in any way at all to be able to do that one too. And that will cost about 10000 mm -hmm. Yeah, and those two. Um, also, just uh, uh, tangentially might affect impact on the Rose property if they're looking to site a, a, a um, whatchamacallit, a, a leach field. And they might want to use a land down there. We don't really know. So that's the story. Okay, so so all these things are basically tied together, and you need these feasibility yeah, yeah, studies. Yeah. Okay, um, finance. Do you have any opinions on that? Um, I mean, do you have quotes? Yeah, we have from mm -hmm. Samson and Weston. <coughs> they they gave us some language for the. Uh, I, I send it all to Tom. 
So, um, what are the dollar amounts for the <coughs> two articles? Just what three 10, and three and ten, isn't it? It's three, uh, no, seven and nine. Seven and nine. Seven and nine. Seven, and nine. seven, seven and nine. for the uh, safety garage. complex. I think. Garage. Yeah, okay. the safety complex, not the garage. Well, it's it was his plans to redevelop the old garage. It was on the t it's on the old uh, uh, town garage site, yeah. That's but this it will ultimately simply house right. the. Right. the right. You keep pointing that way, but so you want to point up there. So the old garage. Thank you. I'm the old garage. The ambulance and the fire. The ambulance yeah. and the fire. Yeah. So the, the, the how much is that? That's the. That's the, the seven thousand. That's the seven thousand, I believe. Um, the. Uh, sorry, I have, I have it here. The. Um, <coughs> the water and wastewater systems for the village center is 9,200. The uh, feasibility of constructing a new facility on the garage parcel is 6,800. Yeah. Okay, it sounds, so sounds like it's important for the for the planning board to have these so you move forward we, on. Yeah, okay. we move. And, and the housing, <laughs> look at the housing yeah. committee. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I just get a clarification on so they're actually the 6800 for the garage uh, safety complex feasibility study is about um, whether it's feasible to have one there period yes yes not that's it. about reusing the current building for one it's just about whether or not that slice of land. Yes. Whether the constraints of uh, Tooney of the River, all that issue, and the water and the septic, whether that, that there can be enough walkarounds to make it a feasible site to house a safety complex, yes. How, and let's define safety with complex. The existing <coughs> safety <laughs> complex is fire, ambulance, and police. And I, I have talked, Kenny's not here to throw in his yeah, police well, thing. Kenny, Ken, Kenny has talked about the fact that if we, he likes being in the center of town. He yeah. likes being part of this environment. So again, I, I won't speak for Kenny, but you know, maybe the safety complex isn't police. Uh, Tom? Yeah, I think it, it will be very important now that we have the town garage up and running, and we'll be asking people to vote on that this spring. Um, I think it'll be very important to uh, play these out in order, and uh, I think that all of our messaging should be about um, the possibility and not in terms of what it's going to be, uh, what it's going to have, anything like that, but, but what are the properties of the site and, and what could be developed there. Um, because um, we, we're at a delicate stage now with our uh, public safety complex and it's looking really good and it's looking a little bit less expensive than we'd hoped uh, not to mean, oh, no. Let, garage, let, the garage. Garage. The garage. Let, less expensive than we expected the, Ooh, the nice. town garage, and uh, so we're we're really hoping that we can get uh, people's support for that and not have them think about perhaps uh, multiple competing projects. So if if we can um, uh, try to work out as a town how these things are going to move forward, um, that will be very helpful, I think, to the people. Well, you know, I think it's important now that, that the planning board uh, is just looking for to see how these all fit together. They're not not proposing that we start anything on on those not properties right now. So I think the the garage right. situation is not going to compete with with that as 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 much as it might okay. seem. So Tom, can you clarify? Were you just saying that you think it's a good idea to start this feasibility study now, or wait till later? Um, for the I, well, I don't see that there's any rush to do it now because we will be asking the town for um, somewhere between three and four million dollars on in May for the town garage project. So we don't, uh, I think, want to make want to have people think that this is going to lead to something in the near future. Well, we can, we can, I think we can explain yeah. that situation. You know. Uh, just to be the devil's advocate a little bit, so from the standpoint of the Rose property, uh, having been somebody who brought up the Rose property early in my career and find it very difficult not to get hit over the head by putting something in the Rose property, but uh, the t two things I want to say, uh, the housing committee is has been going really strong mm -hmm. and has done some good work and they're very committed and very interested in getting some kind of 
senior affordable housing here. Uh, their focus, as you know, and most of us know, is the Rose property. Uh, they, um, the townspeople voted $3,000 from the Community uh, Preservation Fund at our last town meeting, and together with the 6500 that was still left in a, I think, a three-year-old article that's been sitting there for quite a few years, they used that 6500 combined is what they're paying for the uh, perk test, which has already been done, and the uh, study. And so, so going back to their timeline, because you felt like there's some pressure, like, oh, we got to figure this out before they get, you know, their stake in here. I, I think their their timeline, not that I can speak for them, is is a little ways out there because, from a funding standpoint, I think it's going to be a, a tough tough area to find funding for this. Uh, as far as it won't be taxpayer dollars, as you said. One thing that they were uh, interested in, I think they checked with John, who checked with our town attorney, is whether the Guilford Trust, which is you know, yeah, still got a, a hefty so. amount there, might be a possibility to assist in this endeavor. Yeah, so that's money. that's not a you know that's not a done deal. Yeah, and, they're and getting money from the uh, CD, CPC too. Yeah. yeah. And so they're, they're having a, doing other ways. We wanted to be able to say, okay, you guys can go ahead because there's not going to be any. Uh, competing claims is really mainly the goal of this. Right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, but last thing I'll say is yeah. I, I think, uh, given the experience of uh, <laughs> a year ago, whatever, I think putting a uh, safety complex on the uh, Rose property is not going to happen. It, it just seems like it's not the site for that. So, so e even though you know uh, I applaud the effort to to do a feasibility study for that. Again, I don't know if the timing has to be at this special town meeting. I think it, personally, I think it could wait till the meeting where we're going to be talking about a lot of issues, and that's one of them. Uh, so again, that's that's. But then, we, then that, again, we, we would be holding up the housing committee. I, I personally don't think you'll be holding them up, but again, that's. Yeah, we would be because it, because if it can't be the safety complex cannot be situated where it is now. Then there's going to be there's going to be a big discussion about yeah. using the Rose property, which and again, you know, Andre is like me feels like, hey, we got to figure things out. We got to figure out, you know, if we're going to be doing this and doing this and doing this, let's figure it out. So this is, I'll backtrack. This is what we need to do to make sure that that site can be our fire and ambulance. Yeah, that's the yeah. purpose why I'm here. So, so going back to the finance committee again, uh, problems with. Putting this money article well, we in here. Well, we have quotes. That was one of the issues, you know. Okay. And now it sounds like we've got I quotes. Think, you know, I think uh, you're we got one quote. Got some kids in the I back there. I think you're extremely <laughs> premature. I mean, even if you pass a garage article this spring, you're two years out before there's a garage. Um, and if you're saying three to four million dollars, I'm not saying. No, no, that's no, for the Tom garage. sitting right there. About um, for the pub for the garage. The garage. Oh, but that's not this. That's not what I we're understand. talking about. Yeah. We're just talking about. And they're talking housing, which will be a chunk of money, and you're talking a public safety complex, which will be a chunk of money. I think you're talking years before people would even be considering it. We and the idea that you need to rule in or rule out a piece of property that might be built on in five years just seems to me a little bit... But if we can't rule it out, then we have, then in good conscience, the, the planning board would not be able to really go along with the the, uh, the use of the Rose property for housing, and they're ready to go. They're not going to be using town money. They have other sources. To build everything. To build. They have other... They, they, so they, have, they, have, the they, have, they have different schemes, a couple of schemes. Pixie should be here. Uh, there's one scheme that I know Jack, Lo Jack Lockhead is talking about, about uh, some people buying a unit, and then the others being uh, 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 subsidized by the um, uh, Guilford uh, uh, Trust Fund money and the CPC. Right, but all of that is still going to be dependent on the town allowing that land to be used. I mean, they can't go ahead without town approval. I mean, that, that land belongs to the town. The Guilford Trust has got to be overseen but by that's, the select committee. Precisely. That's why I, it has to go through the planning board for, it, for us to approve it, well, to recommend it. And then, and then technically, it doesn't. It's the selectmen in the town that will No, we, we approve it first. We, we recommend by it. By what law? The, the, the rule for the planning board that does studies, and then we recommend we Never recommend yeah we recommend siting, we Are recommend you? siting. Yeah. You, re, you read it. It's in the um, it section C D. It's about we make planning. We do we do long term planning studies. 
Yeah. Well, I think the difference of opinion is uh, not yeah. approval, but yeah. recommendation. Recommendation. Yeah. recommendation. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. If the, I mean, we don't even need to get into the, yeah. the bog yeah. down the details. Yeah. I think, I think we've done a lot of studies that sit on the shelf for years and years, and 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 I think that that's when these things come ripe. I don't. I don't know that it is even a factor if, the, if they need to rule it out for a public safety complex. Is that even a factor? I mean, if this is going to happen with private funding in a year's time and a public safety complex is five years out, are you going to say they can't build on that land I don't because know. you uh, want to preserve it? like we're going to say that. We don't know. All right, Roy, uh, we're going to have a quick committee this, members back there. Okay. This, uh, this is one of those, small, first of all, this is a small town and everything impacts everything else. So that makes this problem, or these problems, in my mind, somewhat more complex than you <coughs> ordinarily have. I do see merit, as a finance committee member, what I'm talking about, I do see merit in, if these are studies that help through process of elimination, narrow this huge bucket of options, I don't, I see merit in doing that. We're not talking huge amounts of money here. Uh, but that's it, again, this is if, if the studies are going to come back and say, well, you know, if you spend uh, $10 million, you can do this here, or if you only want to spend a million, you can't do it there, or if, if, if the studies are going to be definitive, then you have... Well, they can't be, because they won't know what you want to build, so they're just going to... Yes, know, they will know, because yes, that's what it's about. You, can we do X, Y, X over there? Right. You already do. do. Well, that, that's the thing we haven't talked about. We're, grand, we're called grandfather. You already have a building there. It's not like yeah. you can't put one yeah. there. It already exists. Yeah. Well, the, the, the thing that I was concerned about, if that one is torn down or if we try to do something massive to it, then it won't be allowed. Right. If we just fix well, that one right. and modify it somewhat, then we can do something and have it right here in this basically the center of town. Again, my point is, if we can simplify the problem before it gets to town meeting, I think we're, we're ahead of the game somewhat. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Roy. Okay. Mm. I agree with Roy. Because yeah, it gives me a headache thinking about it. Now, is, are, the, are the language of those two um, um, articles the way no, the, the planning <laughs> board is? Yeah, no, there's no language in here at all. I sent the language oh. to Tom, to so Tom. he has okay. the language for it. Okay. He has the language for it. I, I said it. I said what I have to say. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what's the plan of the articles we're putting on about the garage and the spring? Yeah. Like, are we, where are we in that process? We're not, we're not talking about the spring right now. We're talking about the special but, town meeting. But the answer on where we are with the garage is going to help me to speak about where we are with this study. Well, okay, Tom, where are we on the garage in terms of, of where we might be in, in spring? plan to bring forward to the town? We're uh, going to be uh, interviewing owner's project managers next week. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be meeting, uh, we're having a, a site meeting with the designers tomorrow. We expect to sign contracts with the owner's project manager the following week, uh, or or the week after that. We have Are a we window. Building a garage without. I'm sorry. Are we building a garage. Well, we're coming up with uh, design plans that will be sufficient to say how much it will cost. Okay. And there's two phases to the project, and the first gets us to town meeting, <laughs> and and with a good figure for how much it'll cost, and then the second is if borrowing is approved, we go ahead and and uh, bid that out and we build it. The town meeting authorizes us to borrow yeah. for the amount. Yeah. Okay. How much has been authorized to actually and do any contract? $175,000 at the last annual town meeting was shifted from the stabilization <coughs> account to a working account. So that's what we use for the, for the uh, planning, for the uh, garage committee to work with our town administrator uh, to move forward so that we can get information to present to town meeting for a vote to finance this project years in the making. So that that's that's where we're using that money there. So there's a possibility that the town could vote it down? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, there's always a possibility, sure. I mean. Sure. Is this going to be debt excluded? We don't know that yet. Because we need a ballot then. We're feeling like it might. We've been talking with our accountant and our treasurer and our administrator, and there's discussion there, and uh, so we're not quite sure yet. Uh, as far as the timing of when we want to present this 
to the voters. Um, we thought it was such a big issue and we wanted to educate the voters and let them know as much as we can about this project and the need for it and so forth, that rather than do it at the annual town meeting, where we have that long night of many things, uh, we would have it, I think, a month after uh, to do a special town meeting a month after to devote just to that project so that we make sure that e e even though I, I think even though special town meetings don't usually get the big numbers we have the history recently of when it's a hot button issue like the the land thing with the natural roots and stuff people show up so we had a huge number for that special town meeting we hope that the same would be true of this special town meeting so I think that's our our, our thoughts we want to make that a separate one but soon after the annual town meeting to plan on um, with the, the debt exclusion, we make it contingent upon the debt exclusion? No, we haven't made a decision about that yet. Okay. So this is, my thought is the cart before the horse, basically what Andrea had said, that, you know, until the town wraps its arms around absolutely saying yes to do it and spending money, I know it doesn't seem like it's a lot of money, but, you know, in these it's times, garage could fail. I mean, you could be another year passing. I mean, it just these things happen for that kind of millions. It could take you another year to even get that funded. I mean, I'm hoping not. I know the garage only needs to be built, but <laughs> but it's just it's a very but, big. But nut. would time would time change the opinion of any of these studies? You know, if, if they did a feasibility study, <coughs> might change the need for one. If we have the feasibility study for the safety complex, just that one, that would at least allow us to make recommendations to, for, for to the, uh, the housing committee so that they can come to the select board soon. It's, it's, it's not a matter, because they, rather than, because if, if not, then, they, then they're not going to be able to come before uh, sometime next winter. And they have, and, and, and they have, and they have, they are working now on funding. They're way ahead of the game. They're way ahead of the the garage funding, which is still in the planning stage. They are actually securing money. So I'm that they really. I guess my question to you is, if it comes back that the highway garage uh, can, site can be turned into something, but you don't know what, but you decide later that it's not suitable because you actually want to put something different there than you envision right now. But you've said okay and they built the public housing, then what are you going to do? Like, uh, I don't, say uh, you, say it ends up being bigger. Mindset, but no, well, but that's if, what I'm saying. No, no, so much if, no if, if, the, if the fire department can stay where it is at all, why can't they? Well, there are people who are saying, no, there's too many problems, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we wanted to rule them out. They say there's a problem with the erosion of the riverbank. That's and other people say no. That's a fixable deal. You just have to fix it. So I mean, we wanted to. We wanted to. We've had. There's been meeting over the years, over the years about this site. I guess my question is just: if you don't know what you're going to put there, how can you they do tell know. you this you, site you, is suitable? You're going to put a, an ambulance placement, ambulance bay, fire no, truck. No, the building itself. You don't know what you're going to build there. How are they going to tell you whether it's a suitable location? Well, I can tell you are it's you going to? Well, that's what a, it's a building site. I mean, no. there's a building there. Like you could make improvements to the building that's there. No one will stop you from that. Improvements to the building. Yes. Sure. Well, that's what I thought we've been planning on doing anyway. That's what everyone thought. I think. Yeah. That that's has been my understanding all along. I mean, I don't think you that can that building build needs any time to be in improved. That would be fine. Like put a door on the bathroom. It. That was one of the things. Well, they may need to fine. make some, some structural yeah, changes. There, I there, think we understand. Yeah, it does need some repairs. And there's a possibility we could add one more bay or a shed or a right. whatever. Does anybody think that they're going to build a $2 million public safety complex no. on the heels of building a $3 Absolutely million not. garage? Absolutely uh, not. I'm, 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 I'm very sensitive then, then to the that. Site for the, for then the site for the Rose property yeah, is, will never be No, it, it really won't. Public safety. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, so not, I'm not seeing, no, actually exactly. I'm very sensitive to capital spending because I'm, I'm looking up the road and I don't see a whole lot more coming down the pike in another three yeah. years. So. What I would like to be able to do is to say, guys, or say, I'll be able to recommend to the, the select board, this site where the fire de uh, department already is can be modified in some way 
to make it make it a suitable place for the the safety complex, uh, and 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 then and then the, the the housing people can go forward. We can deal with the water and, and, and sewer uh, so later, but this this is really separate. What happens if they come back and say it can't be used for public safety? So you're going to tell the housing people to have sand? Then it, we ha no. yeah, we have to. No. to I mean, now you're going to have to do it. No, indeed, no, no, you have indeed. to do a study on the road site because it might not be adequate right. either. You know, well, let, 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 me, let me make a general comment yeah. here. You know, I think the, so the, 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 the board, the planning board, has been doing some great work lately, and they've, they've really got some momentum going, okay? And I think these two studies are very important to keep that momentum going and, and to, to, to keep them in the ball game as to what they want to do. I think their plan for um, the, the village center is, is fantastic, okay? And I, I think for what they're asking for here and to have it on the, the special uh, meeting warrant, I don't think is that big a deal and I think it's very important to the planning board and very important to the town. Well, there, one other little thing, if I may say something. Um, there's a FERCOG meeting next, a week from Thursday. Um, and, it, and there will be people there talking about our population and it's the population especially in regards to an aging population. And then uh, today, as I was talking to Tom, he said one of the interesting things is with an aging population in this area uh, and in our town, it will change our tax base, too. And I think we need to think about the future in that regard as well. <laughs> we are, so we'll have fewer that? taxes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we prioritize yeah. everything? So, so I, the third select board member will speak now. So I, I agree with the two uh, uh, finance committee meeting uh, folks in the front row here. Uh, so Liz and Andrea, I feel like uh, the idea of putting a safety <coughs> complex on the Rose property is absolutely ludicrous. We don't need to have a study to tell us, uh, you know, it, it's never going to happen there. So what's the default? The default is if the housing committee can get the funding and figure it out, that's where the housing goes. Uh, and that's not going to be an easy uh, thing for them to do, but if they do it, uh, all, all more power to them. So again, going back to what uh, these two folks said, it's like we have our ambulance and fire up there. They're up there. They're working. When the highway folks leave, they got another bay. We can fix that place. It, yep. it needs some repair, but we haven't paid attention to it because, you know, we've been doing other things. So the need for a study to tell us that we can stay there or that we can do something else, I, I think is premature. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's premature. And we've got so much with this highway garage. I mean, you know, Tom and the, the committee's done a great job, but just... The, the logistics of coming to the town to deal with that, I think, is going to take a lot of our energy. So I feel like these two studies can wait till uh, uh, either the regular town meeting or maybe even tacked on to maybe the special town meeting with the garage. Say, are you going to vote for this? And if we get a yes, which we hope we do, then, and by the way, do you want us to do some studies over here for other projects a year or two or three down the road? You're saying there's a special town meeting for the garage coming up too? After the annual town meeting, more than likely, we'll have a special town meeting oh, okay, but specifically for that. But I think these two might, again, you know, this is two or three or four months away, might be tacked on to that. So, so again, I, you know, I'm not saying they shouldn't be done. I'm just saying mm. I think it's premature. I think we don't need to do it for this one next month. Well, if the thinking of the select board is that you can't put the uh, safety complex on the, the Rose property anyhow, uh, that you would never approve it. Then um, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know well, if that. that if, I mean, is that that's that's your I, opinion at this I, point? I, I mean, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And mine. So, I, so we, I, I, don't, I don't think there's an impediment to the housing folks to right. continue in their their quest. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we need to spend this money right now to to assist in that endeavor. I think that endeavor's got a green light for them to go. And as John said, you know. Funding from the Guilford is, we'll see, and uh, all the other difficulties yeah. to put that project together. Well, is this the, is this something new. Do we have a definitive statement as to what? Maybe I missed the meeting. I may have been out of town. The Rose property. 
what is it good for and what is it not good for? Do we have this, like the number of square feet, the size? I believe when they, they, last time they did that, they said the answer from DEP or our local people was, well, what do you want to do with it? We'll tell you if you can do it. It wasn't like this is what you can do with it. Did the housing do a feasibility study for the property? Kirk tests and all that? Yes. Kirk yes. tests. They just the, finished it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's what they're doing. It's the, done. What's come back is that the um, only area that's suitable for building is like one acre. Mm -hmm. And so what, whatever you can do with one acre. Um, beyond that. Does that include parking? Really? It's just only one acre? Everything just about one, one acre is you can, because everything else. I thought it was probably two acres. I don't know if anybody <laughs> ever read the Green Chair Recorder. It's a local paper. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know to because I'm, I, I remember, I remember a select board member just standing next to a former administrator who mentioned a safety complex on the Rose property. There was a firestorm. So, you know, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's not going anywhere. And so... But the the, the uh, people that on. the people that the housing committee brought in, mm -hmm. their assessment after they looked at the whole land was you've got about one acre to build on, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and they no, and the, their view also. I mean, remember you're getting this second hand, so I mean, but uh, this is what I've been told, um, is that in fact a safety complex. He just laughed when somebody mentioned that. Because of and, the grade and everything, and but our, I mean that's just feeding. Our three nineteen project for the South River that we we voted one hundred thousand dollars of CPA money to assist with. That's starting, I believe, next year. And again, as people might remember, a, a certain cutting, portion of the road so that flooding comes somewhere. out. So again, more like whoa, you're not going to do anything. I mean, you know, there'll be no septic there. There'll be again. I, I hope the housing folks can get their thing done, but it's a, it's a tough site. And I think, I think the people feel like, oh, we switched, you know, seven or eight years ago, we switched that part, we should be able to use it for something. It's not the property we had hoped. Well, if Craig Warren were here, he could tell us how much it would cost just for Phil alone yeah. to bring that up to a level where you can put the housing. It's going to take a lot of prep work before you can ever put housing there. They're expecting to use the fill from the excavation. From the excavation the, down yeah. below, yeah. And that would go a long way towards that. Yeah. So I, I just want to make one quick comment. Um, when we discussed these articles, um, the Finance Committee uh, on November 11th, I had, I guess, understood the request about the uh, for the, the feasibility study about the current garage facility to be about redevelopment of that building, not redevelopment of that site. So, like, yeah. um, if if this uh, if this feasibility study is, I guess I'm just trying to understand: Are they actually going to look at the reuse of the existing building, or are they? Looking at, I mean, what is what is the fee? We I guess I don't understand we what the feasibility study would actually be looking at. We were to primarily do. concerned with uh, them saying whether you can reconfigure the buildings. You, you can accommodate the uses that we want to uh, to use up there with the given constraints, even though. It's, it's functioning now. The, the, there's, there's huge complaints about the the, uh, the hazard of the erosion on the, on, the, on the riverside and then the continuing use of uh, Ed Rose's water supply. Um, I don't know how much of a problem that is, but there's, and, and using a, a leash field over there too. Um, so uh, the, one of the, the main purposes was to see if the riverbank can be can be shored up, or however they do it, can be can be can be uh, ameliorated that problem, and so you can have an existing uh, safety complex there. Using okay. the buildings, yeah. All right, all right. Well, That's I all. would be interested in seeing the results of that study, and I don't care if it's sooner. It's fine with me that it, if it goes on a special timing, I don't see any concern about it being premature or whatever. I think that when I was on the Capital Improvement Planning Committee and we were looking at that garage seven years ago, walking around up there and looking down that steep bank and like, 
thinking, geez, this is yeah, kind of that, a, so you're, a you're sketchy situation. I, I think it's high problem. time yeah. that we got somebody to come in and talk about what this, the solution That's is good. so that we can keep a building there, you know? No, <laughs> I, I, Whose water? I, I, so, no, it, it's, I think it's, I think it's um, Russ French. You said Ed Rose, oh, and no, I no, thought, no, I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. Ed Rose doesn't own anything up there. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I, I think Ed Rose. You know, I, think it's, French, I think it's important to put these these two studies out to a vote of the people, and, and let's see what, what the citizens want on these. I, I, I think they're important. I know I, I don't, it's not a lot of money, but it, it's going to help us um, know where we're going with the, uh, the items that uh, the planning board is, is bringing before the town. And I think it's important. So has, okay, there, has so there been enough discussion on, well, on these I'm two? Sure, I'm not sure if it, I thought that the, it sounded kind of to me like you were sort of downplaying the need for the sewer and water not study down, one. I'm not downplaying it, I'm not downplaying it, but okay. like if I had my, my, if I had to choose one now, if, I, if, if, if you want to divide it up, I would choose the, the, the safety complex feasibility study. I would love to have both of them in, just so we can we can we can set at least we can we start thinking in the direction and set the stage properly. That's all. I mean that's and then we can move forward on the zoning better. Tanya, you mm -hmm. have some. Um, I agree that that's an important study and it should be done at some point. The one up on the for the public safety complex, mm -hmm. but like. Other people have said, I believe it's a little early for that. I mean, what happens if a year or two from now we get another hurricane and it washes out the riverbank, and then at this point they say it's okay, and then two years from now well, they say would, it's not okay. I well, mean, well, that would be part of the study. To, to will, will it withstand any kind of let's say a, a ten thousand year right. I mean, exactly? Build that bridge I mean, that would be that would be, that, that would I mean any that would it should take care of that. Do we have something that says all that? Do you have something from those folks that are studying this that says what they're going to be doing? Well, the, um, the proposal uh, was um, has has evolved over the course of the conversation. I'm sure you you have those. Um, no, I meant from the, who is it, Samson? Weston Samson. Weston Samson. Samson and Delilah. I, I, think, you know. I think we would need to go back to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I was thinking. Uh, do you want me to go back to them and lay out the, one of the concerns of this is going to want a new building or is there interest in just fixing up the old building? What would you want their, this spelled what's out? What's their scope say? This is new building. Uh, this will include structural analysis of existing retaining walls and viable site conditions permitting issues, facility layout, and utility services. Um, yeah. That's what it says. That's but it's current scope for a new building. For a new building. For a new building. Uh, yeah. For safety so concerns. I'm saying if we haven't gotten they, voters okay. for three or four million dollars for so, the yeah. next new building, I can go really back. Want to start saying, I can go back and get this refined, the language refined on this, to talk about maybe split the uh, uh, split the cost to do an initial um, assessment whether. You can make that site safe. Whether you can make it usable. Never mind an existing building, or never mind a new building. Can you make this site safe? That would probably be much less expensive, too. And then, if the answer is yes, then the, for the remainder of the study, to give a more a, a detail about what they would do in terms of the existing building or new building. Is that would that would that satisfy a more the the, the the um, um, issues? I, to have them do a study for a new building does not satisfy me. I don't know about okay. everybody yeah, else. I find that that's just too. From, from a tax rate standpoint, uh, <laughs> okay. that's unacceptable. Yeah. But a study that looks at the site from a safety standpoint, river yeah. bank wise, and makes recommendations and cost estimates for a renovation, Okay. I, I would find that helpful. Okay. And, and would that work if I went back and got that information? I can do that, that tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be fine with me. I, okay. I wouldn't be surprised. What's that? People Still going to say public safety conference? conference? <laughs> I mean, public safety is. I, my really concern is, is what will people think if we're, we're, we haven't even voted for the garage and we're talking about a public safety complex? And I just don't want it to undermine 
what we're trying to accomplish at the garage. Yeah. And, yeah. and they've worked a long time, too. As much as you can time, explain yeah. it, that's for sure. yeah. people will get something in their head, and you can explain to your blue in the face, like, oh, I'm not going to vote for the garage. If next thing we know, we're going to do a public statement. I mean, just... Well, you know, you can talk about, you can talk about renovating the fire department. Can I... Fine, Bill. We live in a town that has lots of really good repairmen and contractors. Why would we need to have Weston and Samson do something like fix our existing building when we have people here in town who can repair it? But they can't, the local people cannot do the, the analysis about the hazards. Well, it's two different other than, yeah, I know it's, that, I'm, I'm just talking thing. about well, repairing then that, yeah, the building. Well, that's it, then, that, then we don't have to hire anyone to build it. I think the state needs a one of my steel-toed boots somewhere. Well, you're going to need to engineer the retaining wall. Yeah, There's no doubt about that. that will I be mean, just repairing the building. But I, Right, but you're not going to repair the building without doing the retaining wall. Everybody, I think, right Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know whether it's worth putting $10 into this building. Exactly. And, right, and I do. And not do anything else. Yeah. Because you put it in there, and next year it's gone. I mean, so yeah. we owe it to. We all may be gone next year. Well, <laughs> yeah. it's hopefully not from. What I also, they I also think there needs to be a good discussion about what's going to actually go in that building because I know at this point in time, Kenny may not want to move his office there. Right. But a future police vehicle and office may be necessary there. What if your future police chief doesn't reside in town, doesn't want to house the vehicle at their home? You might want to consider, there needs to be a discussion about what this building is actually going to contain, I think, before you can ask them if it can you just be expanded to and that what role. what it can contain. Well, I mean, if you're going to, I think you're short-sighted without thinking about the possibility of police being there in the future. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. I hadn't thought well, of that, but you're right. Kenny you know. has expressed the need for a holding cell. There's one in the basement. <laughs> well, that's the show. But that's that's a whole different discussion. But I'm just thinking, you know, your your current situation is such that, correct, your police officer lives in town, your police officer works closely here, and it's perfectly adequate to have it at his home because it's accessible in the center of town for officers to arrive and leave the vehicle. That's probably not always going to be the case. That's true. I think a discussion on what's going to be there needs to happen before you yeah. ask okay. I think, we, think we've had plenty of discussion on this. And I, I think what we need to do is, is uh, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, put on the special town meeting warrant the article for the study for what's being called our safety complex for $6,800. Yeah, but well, I can go back and okay. get this and, all and the And you time. can get the yeah. language, yeah. okay? I'd like to make a motion on that. And I'd like to, do we have a second? I'll second it with, with this. I, I think the people have, should have the right to vote on it. Okay. And make the yep. decision. I, I agree. Okay. So that one comes on. Now, how about the sewer study? Um, I think that's important for your, your village center zoning to, to have that to study in hand. To getting it passed, so yeah. I'll make a motion that we put the, uh, the article on the special town meeting warrant for the uh, feasibility study for the water and septic system for the center of town. Is there a price on that one? Yeah. Uh, that's nine, $9,200. I think that's an important study for us to move ahead with, with what the planning board is looking to do uh, for the center of town and the center town zoning. Do I have a second on that motion? I'll pass. Yeah, I, I think we should wait on that one. Okay. All right, one out of two. All right, I'll get the new language and I'll get more detail for you all. Okay. So we want to do the finance committee's recommendation on that uh, town uh, garage site or building, whatever one? Or yeah, we should vote. We recommend it. All right, I move that finance committee recommend uh, the article that for the feasibility study up at the current garage site. I'll start with I guess I'm not clear what it is anymore. So. Uh, I think, it, again, it's unfortunate we don't have the exact, but well, I think it's... The, not only the language, I mean, I don't know now, is it going to include police or not include police? I, I think it, it, should, it should include police. I think we should, you know what I mean? I think that mm -hmm. needs to all be... I don't think the you. building, I don't think this is yeah. going to get anywhere near what's going on the building. I think this is well, going to be about whether that site is can be made safe, more yes. like that. Yeah. 
the, is a usable I, site. See, to me, that's that's not a site's going to be made safe. You can, anyone can build a retaining wall. What's going to go on that site is what you're going to need. Do you need to have five car garage? Let's, four let's, car get, let's eliminate that question, to... though. You know, let's have let's have the let the engineers come in and say. Yeah, we can. How, how you can have a flood site? control in, in and the rain. And the other thing that's in your long-term sewage. Yeah, and that's where the so planning uh, board will invite our chief of police, our fire chief, and our ambulance director to their next meeting, hopefully, and say, if we do this feasibility study on that present property, again, Kenny, do you feel like this should be good for not right, just him, but the future. To me, that's the meeting that happens before you have this vote. Mm. That's my problem. <laughs> yeah. You decide uh, what you're asking yeah. as a question, we're, and then you we're, vote We're on. talking about a site analysis here. We that's haven't determined what's on the site. That's my problem. No, we're, well, my we're understanding was this was specifically to rule out that property so that you can recommend the housing folks move forward on the other property. That's how it was presented that, originally. That, that's certainly one of the one of the reasons. And, yeah. and, and to me, yeah. to, to finance has a vote on the table, has a motion on the table. We're still discussing, I guess. I now go ahead, make what the vote. What if we do a study that says, you know what, this site has deteriorated over time, and I wouldn't do anything with this site unless A, B, C, D, E. You may get you may get the results of that, perhaps. I, so, just not how they do it. I've done a lot of these, and that, they'll ask you what you want, and they'll they'll analyze it. Okay. No. Do you guys want to recommend or, or not on that? Oh, uh, I. It's got a motion. I'm, I'm, Anybody second? Motion. I so obviously, I Roy and I okay. support it, but there's two. You haven't voted yet. Yeah, you can. Huh? But if I could, I would say no. Doesn't count. So, so are you voting? Yeah, I guess. All right. So all in favor, say. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Opposed? Aye. Two Nay. to two. So, okay. okay, there you have it. Okay. So that's right. right. so we'll just say no Candy dandy sheet. Our vote's not to, or I, how about these other, other articles on the warrant? What does the Finance Committee have to say about those? I think that uh, there was some confusion about Article 1. Yeah, you can go. <laughs> well, I think there was some confusion about Article 1. They weren't, we weren't voting not to put it on or recommend. We were just saying remove the fiscal year because if it crosses the fiscal year, you need to end up doing the fiscal year 14. You might want the flexibility. So it was saying. Tom, do you have some input on that? Does, does that make sense? Because if it turns out that this all gets delayed, and they actually say now, if you have this meeting in June or July or August, that they actually want fiscal 14 instead of 13 now, because you're bonding and they want the most recent year, which would become 14, we're saying maybe you just don't want to say fiscal year 13 in the article. All right. So we're talking about broader. we're talking about an order ordered for the the most recent say, fiscal yeah, just year. Just that we need. Okay. Town 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 okay. Just to make you actually more flexible for you, because yep, if you fine. find out you want 14, you're right. hamstrung. Yep. Okay, and your recommendation is is that change we, in language, and you guys are okay with that? We okay. support that. Uh, how about the uh, lowering of tax rate article, number four? What do you think about that? We wound up being um, split on that. And we don't have a recommendation on two and three because they're not financial. Right, exactly. We don't participate in yeah. that. That's why I, I have a thing to say about that. When we voted to do it for this year. Two years ago. Or two years ago. When, when we did it, we said, this is a one-time thing. We have so many things coming up that I feel we'd be far better off putting this money into a stabilization fund to help cover some of the costs of things that are coming up rather than lowering the tax rate and then having to bump up and do some other things with it the next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's Finance Committee's recommendation? We're split. No two, two. We were on. We were split. Okay. You're split. Although part of our communique was that to offer I mean, the option. Explain what the option was. I mean, I don't know. It obviously didn't get put on here. But. Wait, right. We had recommended, I believe, that there be an article prior to this possibly giving the option of putting it in stabilization. And if that passed, but not doing it on the tax rate I, for I don't this exact it, reason that you... I don't think it should be on the warrant at all. We, we should take this off the warrant. I mean, when you say, hey, you want 150 back at you to... Who's going to say no? Right. Who's going to yeah. say no? That was our and, concern. And that's, 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 that's our responsibility as select board and finance committee to present to the voters 
because we maybe know a little bit more than the average voter that comes to our town special meetings, especially what is good for the town. So what's good for the town, I feel, is not to, again, do what our accountant recommended not to do, is to do this again. And two, as Jim said, uh, we're going to be asking for $3 million. How about taking 150 and putting it into the stabilization for the highway garage? Because if we give them the, this now in their tax rate, it's just going to be added in their it's bonding gonna, fund. It's actually going to artificially lower your tax rate yes. again, which will then it's, jump tremendously it's, when you exactly. pay $3 million. Right. The reason, right. I think the reason yeah. why, we, why this began, be on there. why this came to start being discussed at all was because we discovered that free cash is going to be certified at nearly six hundred thousand dollars again, you know, well over a half a million dollars of free cash again, and taxes are going up ten percent. So the tax rate was being delayed. The tax rate wasn't being mm -hmm. set because of um, an illness. The illness. So we had the opportunity. We had a perfect storm or a perfect happy party, whatever, where you couldn't still. You had still had time to set the tax rate. We had the opportunity to lower the tax rate because we had six hundred thousand dollars worth of free cash, which was like twice as much as we had expected to see, and um, that's where I came at this from, you know. And, and I still support having that. Obviously, not it's not my decision; it's not the finance committee's decision, it's the select board's decision whether that goes on the warrant or not. Mm -hmm. But I think that you know. People are going to keep asking, why, where's all this free cash coming from, and, and where are taxes going up 10%, and are we being overtaxed, and what is the story with that? So, you know, yeah. that's just, that's, and, and, that and question that's is out there. That's you know? exactly reason, the reason why uh, I was initially in favor of this. There's, there seems to be some other uh, opinions on the board here. So let me make a motion that we take this article number four off the special town meeting warrant. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Finance Committee. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Carol. Uh, um, so when is the special town meeting going to be ostensibly held? Tom, what's our what's our what's proposed our date now? Date? Uh, we have uh, two possibilities, Monday, January 13th, or Monday, January 27th. <coughs> Either of those is good for both the moderator and the town clerk. Okay, so those are the or the 27th. No, not the 29th. January 13th. Is that what you said? Yeah. A 13th or the 27th. The 20th is uh, more than Sunday. Yeah, well, I think the 13th is probably a good day. Right. Can Tanya, can we? Uh, move finance committee upstairs for a few minutes or? Okay, thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you. All right, uh, next item on the agenda is uh, the approval of license renewals. Now, everybody, you've seen the list of license renewals. I, I'm not going to go one at a time on these. I think we all, we all know all of these people who are renewing their licenses. So I'm just going to call for a for a vote to uh, make a motion that we approve the renewal of all of these licenses. Second. Okay. Do we have a second? Okay. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, okay. Items not anticipated 48 hours in advance. Uh, we have we had a 12-2 request from the. Um, that was today, actually, a request from the Frontier Regional Transit Authority for a representative from Conway for the Wednesday meeting this week, uh, proposed change in fixed routes. Um, we, don't, we don't have a lot to do with that in terms of their service to Conway. I can't make the, the Wednesday meeting. Uh, I don't know whether I can. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's something that we actually need to be at. Okay. Um, next item. Tom, do you have an update for us? Yeah. Did, did we miss the Town Garage Planning Committee update? Yeah, Tom is, Tom is going to give that to us. Oh, okay. Share one of those. 
Um, yeah, for the uh, Town Garage Planning Committee, uh, we met at 6 o'clock <laughs> this <laughs> evening and came up with a plan for uh, interviewing uh, the candidates for owner's project manager who we feel uh, might be able to do a good job for us. Uh, we got six submissions. Uh, there, are, there are two strong candidates and another two candidates who are who we feel could also do the job and we'd like to talk to. Uh, so we are planning to uh, interview them next week, uh, probably Monday and Tuesday evenings, and then uh, uh, negotiate a contract with them the following week. We have some flexibility in that. Um, but the idea is to get them on board as quickly as possible to review the designer proposals that are coming in because uh, according to state law, the owner's project manager has to be the one who selects the designer. So we're, we've moved ahead with the procurement of the designer, but they'll have to actually be the ones to pick it. Uh, they'll go ahead and start working in, in, uh, in January, we hope, and have something uh, in time for a special town meeting in uh, late spring, um, probably in June, to uh, bring to the voters. Uh, if, they, if they approve a little addendum to the timeline, uh, if they approve borrowing, we can get that done in two months. Uh, we are now looking uh, at the state bonding process rather than at the USDA RDA loans uh, for a variety of reasons. But uh, whichever, we would have to have the audit, and uh, we'll be all set to go with that. And we hope that, uh, yeah, and. <laughs> Because we have to have it done before the vote, it will have to be a fiscal year 13 audit because we won't have the vote. And we want to be able to move right away. Um, that said, um, we believe that construction can begin in the fall and a slab can be laid before the ground gets frozen and the building can be up uh, by late spring or early summer mm -hmm. of, uh, of next year. Some of the project proposals came in saying that it wouldn't be done until July. Some came in saying April. April is what we asked for. So I was a little suspicious of <laughs> people who said, oh, yeah, we can get it done by April. Uh, maybe they can, maybe they can't. But it was interesting to see that some people said, yeah, you want to get it done by April, but our timeline goes to July. So in any case, um, uh, that's the, the kind of timeline that we're looking for. Okay, and you said R RDA. You're not looking to RDA for any loans. No, okay. they, they have they have their own complexities with their lending process, okay. and uh, even though we have to spend money on bond council to secure bonds, it's a, a cleaner process in some ways. Okay. And for the uh, for the regular update. Um, I have requested Public Safety and Public Works Departments to have draft operating budgets ready for the December 18th Select Board meeting for discussion with you in advance of meeting with the Finance Committee. Uh, as you heard from Ron, uh, we've gotten the materials for the temporary repair for the bridge on North Poland Road. They should be installed by the end of the week. Uh, informal communications with MassDOT suggest that this will be sufficient to avoid closing the bridge. Uh, we are, Ron is also working with them on next steps to see whether or not the state can actually replace the bridge. Okay. Uh, for committees, I'm still trying to generate an up-to-date list of committee members and contact <coughs> information. Easier said than done. I'm especially working to fill the vacancies on the personnel committee as their duties are specified in the town's bylaws. Any suggestions are welcome. I am also especially looking for a member of the Zoning Board of Appeals. We're down to one member, and there is a request for a variance that needs attention. I put a notice on the website asking for interested candidates. I got a couple of suggestions. Neither of them felt that uh, they were in a position to serve at this time. Is Lee, is Lee the only, only one on? 
Uh, Lee is uh, no longer on. Okay, Who, who's, <laughs> who's on? It's uh, Mark Silverman. Oh, Mark, okay. Mm -hmm. And you need another member. Yeah, and okay. uh, Gene Boyden had also been on, but recently bowed out. We okay, need two I, I will, I will uh, volunteer. That would be very, very good of you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there is a 100-day statutory limit for reviewing uh, the variance before it uh, is automatically granted. Um, okay. So we'll talk about that. Okay. Uh, for sale of town properties, I would like to commend our treasurer, as I'm sure you all would as well, Jan Warner, for a great job mm -hmm. selling property. Uh, 149 Old Cricket Hill Road sold for $116,000. 638 South Deerfield Road so sold for $26,000. There were 13 registered bidders. Both properties were sold to Martha and John Evans of South Deerfield. 3033 Shelburne Falls Road remains unresolved. The owner is filed with the Massachusetts Land Court to vacate the foreclosure judgment and we have agreed to do so upon full payment of taxes, interest, and all fees, which total $24,368.39. The owner has three weeks from November 26, 2013, to pay, or we may, we may resume auctioning the property. The tentative auction date has been set for December 18th, if that turns out to be necessary. We did have a successful all-committee, all-staff meeting on November 20th, with over 30 attendees, 14 reports, and many questions and answers. And thank you, thanks to all of you for being there and helping make that happen. Uh, I mailed the required response to the McKiernan complaint to the Attorney General on Tuesday, well in advance of the deadline. And I mailed a response written by John O'Rourke to a public records request from Ed McDonald on Tuesday, together with the requested information. Copies of that letter are in your folders. There will be an annual business meeting for our insurer, Maya, at the MMA conference in January. I would be happy to be the official delegate. The decisions are usually pro forma approval of board of directors' recommendations. Uh, if anyone else is going to be there and would like to be that official delegate, um, you can let me know, and if there's any conflict, I can put it on the agenda. Uh, finally, license renewals are progressing very well, and only one is left at this point. Okay. Uh, question, Tom. On yeah. the on the monies that we got on the two property sales, what are the restrictions on what we can do with those funds? Ah. It is entirely conceivable that that money has to be used for town property. Okay. Uh, and it's... Is any, any, rest could any, be, any restriction on, on what we can use it for with town property? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so let's, like the Jan, Jan will know. Firehouse. We can certainly buy property with it. Whether yes. or not we can improve property is a separate oh, okay. Now we, we also have a reserve fund which has about uh, which has over eighty thousand dollars in it, which I think uh, is is basically has the same restriction as these funds. So now we have we have quite a bit of money mm -hmm. uh, in in that reserve account, and we got to figure out what we can do with those funds. Are you talking about the special revenue account? Yeah. Yeah, that's about 84000 And that's from the yeah. sale of the old grammar school. Right. So let's let's figure out yeah. what these monies can be used for. I'll uh, put it on the agenda to kick around. Okay. And you Great. You were Thank you, Tom. Management. When I hit, mm -hmm. how did it affect the fair? Uh, nothing. It didn't look like Nothing it. reported. Because it runs straight there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, was, there was no, no problem there. Um, meetings attended by select board members. No, I missed that last one. Uh, we, we we had a very good. Uh, good. We had a very good meeting at uh, with the Franklin County Selectmen's Association yeah. at um, Greenfield Community. They, they did an outstanding job with the food, mm -hmm. and they the program do. the program was was very good. It was the police, the sheriff's department. 
gave us a great program. Rick, you have anything to add to that? Yeah, was good. Uh, Chris Donnelly is the sheriff, and he was there, mm-hmm. and he brought uh, two officers, and they're the uh, two gentlemen who oversee the inmates coming to do work, and they uh, reinforce the fact that uh, all that free labor has saved towns. I think two hundred thousand dollars for the last year. So they've uh, they've come and worked on our uh, cemetery, on our transfer station, and actually Ken and I are going to talk about another project in town hall that we might have them come in uh, during the bad weather. So so it's a great program, and yeah, nice. it was really nice to yeah. hear them. Okay, thank you. Thank um, you very much. Yeah, concerning for bringing me up on. Oh, okay. Yeah, concerns of the. Yeah, we missed you at that. We were well, I, I'm. I, we had come back from vacation, and I worked all day. Didn't get home until late, and I just you, I couldn't you, make you it. You really missed some great food. I'll tell you. I bet. Okay. Well, I got to go to the United Way auction. Oh, okay. As good. It was there, and okay. they had some great food. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Constru- and my painting sold for four hundred fifty bucks. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Any concerns? Uh, not a concern. I'll just throw uh, one one minute. That's all I'll take. Uh, so I did. Uh, I am part of the uh, technology committee, uh, the chair of that committee. And I just want to report that uh, we have been meeting over the last uh, month, and we, with the help of Tom, our administrator, have put out a request for bid uh, to upgrade and maintain our website. Uh, We've received questions, which we answered today. uh, And at our next meeting, which will be on the 10th, we will review all the proposals that come in, and hopefully soon after that, we will pick somebody that will come in and start working on our website upgrade and maintenance and uh, then we'll be in great shape so just want to let people know that okay uh we have one one item in the mail it's from the uh, the hampshire county farm bureau it's a thank you letter for um, our help in their first annual tractor ride uh that came through town okay and uh have you seen this and i, I missed it going through town yeah. Spencer, okay. Spencer, Enjoyed it. I, I I didn't miss it. It was it came right past the house. It was yeah. quite quite interesting. There were quite a few antique tractors in, yeah, in, the, yeah. in the in the tractor ride. So that was good. Uh, any other announcements, Tom? Do you have anything else? No. No. Okay. Our next meeting is scheduled for December the sixteenth, two weeks from today. Um, no other business before the board. I'll suggest. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.